Greetings fellow residents of Hastings, Minnesota. My name is Alec Matheson and welcome to the season premiere of Strangely Local, a Hastings Community TV original series. Our new season starts with the presentation of a strange tale, but unlike some others we have had in our program, this one is on the more optimistic side of things. Tonight we hear from Jennifer Wales, a Hastings resident who believes the very fruit she has grown in her own backyard has cured her illness. Listen. And like that, I started to feel better. So, what led to your diagnosis? When the new season had begun, I developed an uncontrollable cough that became such an annoyance. I scheduled an appointment with my doctor, and they didn't quite like the sound of my breathing. What did they say? They told me that I had a lung disease. Well, it simply can't be cured. I wasn't surprised. The best that I could have done in my situation was to understand my limitations, avoid situations that could complicate my breathing pattern, and take to a more healthy lifestyle. Ah, the natural approach to treatment. One day in the summer, I bought some fresh produce at a farmer's market and discovered the most spectacular looking golden apples. Unusual in what specific way? I mean, they looked like solid gold. I bought some and a seed packet, and I ate one the next day. It was then that I noticed I was beginning to feel better. In what ways? I could breathe better. I had more energy. My allergies didn't bother me any longer. I discovered that as the days and soon the weeks had followed, that the more I ate them, the healthier I got. My suspicions proved to be correct because in the next appointment with my doctor, they were absolutely impressed by how I improved my lung function. To make things a bit more interesting, I've begun to look a little bit younger, at least a few years. In Norse mythology, golden apples are often consumed by those who lived in Asgard to stay youthful and spry. That is fantastic to hear, Jennifer. Thank you for sharing with us this fantastic story. Natural or supernatural? That is the question, my friends. Let food be thy medicine. Would you agree with Hippocrates, who said such a thing many years ago? We'll ask more complex questions such as these next week. Till then, keep things strange, Hastings.